Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Hot Fuzz. What do you know about Hot Fuzz? Uh, I know it's one of those three trilogies. Yeah, it's part of the, the Cornetto trilogy. Okay, and you have shown me Shaun of the Dead, which is one of your favorite movies. It's one of my all-time favorite movies, Shaun of the Dead. I actually got a signed copy of Shaun of the Dead from with Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. It even says you got red on you. That's one of my prized possessions for sure. <laughs> so I love this series. I've seen Hot Fuzz, but you've never seen it. I have not seen it and I have not seen Third, which is I think The World's End. Yeah, I don't even really remember that one too much. Yeah. So I've just pretty much watched Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz on repeat. <laughs> so I'm excited. I really liked Shaun of the Dead. Um, it was a great movie, super funny. Um, and I've only heard great things about Hot Fuzz as well, so I'm really excited. I don't really have any expectations from the movie poster. It looked like it was maybe like a, they were policemen or like FBI or like SWAT or something. I think from what I remember, I think they had like vests or something on, but that's, that's really all I know. That's, and I'm not going to tell you anymore. Yeah. So that's what we're going into it with. <laughs> yeah. So one of my favorite things to do on the channel is, you know, show you stuff that I really love because then not only is it a reaction for the channel, but then I get to see it through your eyes as well. This won our comedy movie poll. So we want to thank all our patrons for voting on this. And if you would like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we have reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. And with that, let's get into the movie. Wounded by a man dressed as Father Christmas. <laughs> Absolute pro. Do I have any choice in this? New. No. You said. I'd love to settle down in the country somewhere. <laughs> I'd love to talk to the inspector. Hello, Nicholas. How's the hand? You want me to bother the chief inspector with this? Yes. Kenneth! Hello, Nicholas. <laughs> How's your hand? You've been making us all look bad. I'm sorry, sir. Of course we all... You can't just make people disappear. Yes, I can. I'm the chief inspector. <laughs> Like, finally. I'm outside. <laughs> What's the situation? Two people involved. A complete mess. You are talking about here. <laughs> what do you want? Janine, I've been transferred. I'm moving away for a while. Well, I'm not Janine. <laughs> Does Bob look like the kind of person I'd go out with? <laughs> Poor Bob. Poor Nicholas. <laughs> I love all the quick edits. Just him and his plant. Just him and his plant. I'm Joyce Cooper. I trust you had a pleasant trip. Fascist. System of government characterized by extreme dictatorship. <laughs> Bernard will escort you up there. <laughs> Hag. It's 12 down. Oh, bless you. <laughs> You're 37. Yeah. Get out. Uh -huh. The law, and they'll have to go. Oh no! Kick them all out. Making enemies already. <laughs> yeah. I hope you're not planning on driving that. Right. I'm taking you to the station. Where is it? <laughs> <clears throat> what? Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> when did you start? Tomorrow. <laughs> oh, well, I see you've already arrested the old village. You really want to uh, process all this lot? <laughs> A paperwork montage scene. I don't think he smiled once. <laughs> Morning, Sergeant. The small town yeah. vibes. The slasher of prices. My discounts are criminal. <laughs> Catch me later. Morning, Sergeant. <laughs> He's gone. Who's gone? <laughs> I see you've already met my boy. Yes. Oh, no. Geographical location shouldn't factor in the application of the law. No thanks. What's that, sir? A great big bushy beard. <laughs> Riot room. <laughs> Evidence room. Twelve o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock. We are going to be up to our balls in jugglers. We'll get right on. Jugglers. 
two city boys take it over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Boomhauer. Got a mustache. I know. <laughs> Everybody and their mums is packing around there. Like who? Farmer's mums. <laughs> I love the Andes. What is it like being stabbed? Most painful experience of my life. What was the second most painful? <laughs> Definitely a different vibe here in the country. I love the intense shots. <laughs> right? Statue. <laughs> the horror. Is it true that there is a place in a man's head that if you shoot it, it will blow up? <laughs> <laughs> Angle. Can I have your autograph, please? For the breakfast. <laughs> oh. Right, piss taker. Come on. Yes, Mr. Stecker. <laughs> oh no. Wait, it's a swan. <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> okay, what about this guy? Ask yourself, why has he got his hat pulled down like that? He's fuck ugly. <laughs> Real name Michael Armstrong. Uh huh. Lives up Summer Street with his mum and his sister. And are they as big as he is? Same person. <laughs> oh, no. That was uh, the Hound from Game of Thrones. With the burned face. Oh, okay. Michael! Yar. Child vomit aisle six, mop it up. Yar. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> First little taste of action. <laughs> Statue. <laughs> Morning, Sergeant. <laughs> Morning, Sergeant. You mothers. <laughs> oh, no. This <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> That was impressive. Super cop. Do you know this man? Yeah, he's Auntie Jackie's sister's brother's boy. I couldn't see his face, could I? Not made of eyes. <laughs> Stealing biscuits is wrong. Correct. <laughs> I'll make sure everyone gets their just deserves. What about the swan? <laughs> it got away. Fire up the roof. Car <laughs> chase. <laughs> The shortest car chase ever. Look, you're right. I apologize. You hypnotized him. No, I used this. <laughs> you should think about using yours more often. I do use mine. <laughs> Accept gifts from somebody we've officially rebuked, so. Wonder if you wouldn't mind representing us at the Amdram. <laughs> yes, sir. Take. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Greg over there was an extra in straw dogs and Sherry portrayed a cadaver in prime suspects. She played a cadaver. <laughs> Can't accept gifts from someone we've officially rebuked, so uh <laughs> jog on. I'm sure if we bashed your head in, all sorts of secrets would come tumbling out. This guy is creepy as hell. <laughs> I too have reason to believe she favors the older Jack. Marcus Carter's big brother said he'd fingered her up the duck pond. <laughs> <laughs> Drive safe. Oh my god. You know, that's the bloke we done for speeding earlier. Yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> expecting murder <laughs> in this tiny town. Decaffeinated. Decaffeinated. <laughs> Whoa! Left the road there and then ended up. Here. <laughs> this is elaborate. Well, we should get a proper cordon off, screen the remains from public view, close down the road until the ambulance crew arrives. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Skinner, do you mind telling me how you know the identity of the persons involved? News travels fast. I love struggle. I feel 
he's too obvious to be the murderer, but... Martin Blow was clearly having an affair with Eve Draper. He sat through three hours of so-called acting last night. Kiss was the only convincing moment in it. <laughs> Got his back. Did he say? Edge is an edge, isn't he? He only chopped him down because he couldn't see the view no more. What did he say? He said an edge is an edge. He only chopped it down because it's for his view. What's Reaper moaning about? I don't... Yes, I suppose. <laughs> You have a license for that firearm. He does for this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Just a giant arsenal. Nah, just a lot of junk. Uh oh. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> just kicking. Nine, nine, nine. The whole evidence room is just going to be this guy's gun. <laughs> right? What exactly did you have in mind? I don't know. Pub? They're becoming friends. Yeah. What made you want to be a policeman? Officer. What made you want to be a policeman officer? <laughs> he bought me a police pedal car when I was five. I wanted to be like Uncle Derek. He sounds like a good bloke. He was arrested for selling drugs to students. What a cunt. <laughs> Watch this. Ah, Jesus Christ! Oh. <laughs> <Ta -da. laughs> that is the first genuine laugh that we've gotten out of him, though. Yeah, he turned off for just a second. What say we drink to their demise? Shouldn't that be drink to their memories? Of course. Oh, he'll be in bits tomorrow. His puns are becoming <laughs> less punny. Right? We did get a little drunk. Did you get it? Because he's, he's little and he's drunk. <laughs> I would not want to be here in the morning. Uh oh. You wanna come in for a cup of coffee? I don't drink coffee. How about another beer? Um <laughs> it's all over the place. That was cool. Yeah, such a cool transition. Jane used to say I love my Lily more than I loved her. Because you'd done it with a plan. <laughs> no, no. Switch off that big old melon of yours. I don't think I know how. I could show you how. By the power of grace, Carl. <laughs> Point Break or Bad Boys 2? <laughs> Amount of carnage and mayhem, and not incur a considerable amount of paperwork. <laughs> you have a serial killer. Cox. <laughs> we let the fire crews finish their stuff, and then we get friends who seem to do a thorough sweep of the house. What he said. <laughs> Sorry, Angel. Hi, hi. What's your perfect Sunday? Why? Perfect Sunday <laughs> is a lovely. Yeah. If you didn't see anything suspicious, and who did? Sanford's most wanted. <laughs> the swan. <laughs> I mean, you got a church fate to look after. No, I have not! Actually. <laughs> Sergeant. <laughs> that was amazing. Shit. <laughs> it's high time you realize that. You and your monkey. Did he mean me or that? <laughs> Still carrying that around. I feel like the grocery guy is the most obvious, but I think it's too obvious. I think with a little deliberation, we can figure out what links these deaths. George Merchant, self made millionaire. Martin Blower, respected solicitor. Eve Draper, Blower's leading lady. <laughs> so, maybe they were all accidents. Oh. <laughs> Martin Blower, God rest him. New where the new bypass road is going. So with them having passed on, I decided to sell it on myself to some folks from the city. As far as I'm concerned, Cousin Sissy can go and Would you just excuse me? <laughs> she just like exposed... Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> 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 
so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's blood now, though. Yeah. How's he so fast? Just couldn't keep up. This wasn't an accident. <laughs> Leslie Taylor was fucking murdered! Mark Blower? No, actually. Really? Cause they fucking were! <laughs> <laughs> Change the fucking record! <laughs> what the f- Sir, your name, you're... Yes! <laughs> Sir! I know who did it. He got a lot of info from, from her before she died. Leslie Tiller's dead. Leave Draper and Martin Blower on April the 28th. You killed the competition in cold blood, staging the murders as accidents. Perhaps a wound you sustained on a piece of broken glass this very evening. I'm sure the store's security footage will absolve me. <laughs> Perfect alibi. Y'all gone. That weren't me. <laughs> you just, want anything from the shop? Just defeated. No luck catching them killers then. It's just the one killer, actually. Get us back to the station now! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so it's a grocery guy and his giant employee. He might be in danger at this point, though. <laughs> Playtime's over. Got him. Narp. This shit just got real. I'm gonna I'm gonna go after him. It's Nicholas, by the way. Oh, oh Jesus. Scared me. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> if I need this. Most important tool. Mm, please don't go alone. You were right. I mean, you called the uh the Yarp guy. How could I possibly be in several places at once? How could I possibly be in several Wow? It's all of them. It's the whole neighborhood watch. How can this be for the greater good? The greater good. Shut it! <laughs> Hello, Nicholas. Are you saying this is all about winning the best village award? Bloody no. Oh, no! Hasn't been a recorded murderous sample for 20 years. Everyone who makes the town look bad. Don't come down hard. Don't, <laughs> don't come down hard. a statue. Daddy! <laughs> I can't believe he betrayed him like that. Ta -da. <laughs> nope. A little ketchup trick. Not Judge Judy and Executioner. <laughs> Judge he Judy. Is. He's my dad. Forget it, Nicholas. It's hard for him to betray his dad in his town. Yeah. But I'm afraid for him now, being left alone there. Sir, is there anything I can do for you? <laughs> This is something I have to do myself. <laughs> oh, is he just gonna trash the town? The community that cares. This is wild. <laughs> <laughs> no backup for you. <laughs> just drop kicked her. Nothing. <laughs> Did you realize that there were twins? <laughs> I was just like, why is he so different in the morning <laughs> than he was at night? Want to do something useful? Oh, that's awesome. Angel's back. Check out his horse. <laughs> just riding in on a majestic white horse. Save the town. Morning. <laughs> That's what he was hiding underneath that big coat. Oh my god. 
<laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Even his voice change. Still feel like you're missing out? <laughs> oh, <there she> is! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Drop him. <laughs> You're a doctor. Deal with it. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> Pub? <laughs> Such epic shots. <laughs> this place is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> Arrest these men! Wait, wait! You can arrest us if you like. What the fuck is he on about? <laughs> Brainwashed into naivety by an old man with a murderous obsession. <laughs> the lions roar. Let's go. Oh my god. Well, we should strike now. Well, we've got the element of surprise. I say we go in through the front entrance, take the place all by oil. Wow! Yeah. No! Fuzz. The kids missed a camera. Don't worry. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Needs another stuffed animal. <laughs> yeah, right? Is this what you really, really want? Yarm. You're <laughs> 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 he so concerned for the other Andy. <laughs> There was a bit earlier on that you missed when uh, I distracted him with the cuddly monkey and I hit him with the peace lily. You're off the fucking chain! <laughs> so many knives. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of girl on girl. <laughs> Can you handle this, Sergeant Fisher? We're gonna go after the big boss! <laughs> They're throwing fruit and they have guns. Skip. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Watch that shit! <laughs> oh no, the judges! Bang, bang! <laughs> I love that. Bang, bang! Swan! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> they finally got it. Stay back! Oh, the ginger nut gets it! <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a tiny town? <laughs> it's an epic giant fight. <laughs> Solid uppercut. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> My perfect Sunday. I kind of like it here. Besides, we have to do a considerable amount of paperwork. <laughs> it's still in his face. <laughs> Time for the paperwork. This is going to take ages. Yeah, it's going to take all night. These are okay. Yeah. They're lovely. Bring the noise. <laughs> All right. Well, that was hot fuzz. What'd you think? I loved that. Yeah. It was so good. The I mean, there's so many twists and turns. It was hilarious the entire time. It was fun. Like one of those where my cheeks are hurting. Yeah, for sure. That was great. I loved it. Yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite movies. It's just so, like, clever, especially when you watch it back. 
over and over there's so many jokes like hidden mm -hmm. and the cuts and the edits and like the, the foreground background just everywhere there's jokes so it takes a couple of views to kind of pick up on all of it for mm -hmm. sure but it, it's a very layered movie because you know it starts off uh like oh it's a comedy movie of a big shot cop trying to like figure out in a small town um and then you have these like murders that just kind of come out of nowhere they're really mysterious who's doing it you know they're so focused on skinner mm -hmm. like you said it's like you, you said during the movie it's like i feel like it's skinner but that's just way too obvious yeah and then it transitions again into like one of the coolest action movies I've seen like the action's so cool in this. Yeah, no, the action was so good. The relationship between uh, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost characters yeah. is fantastic, and I felt just such a sense of betrayal when I thought that he was in on it. Yeah, when when Danny just stabs him with the yeah, knife. Yeah, I was like, are you kidding? Like all this time he's been helping him become like a feel like a real officer. And that happens. The fact that they tried to make it into this big thing, like you hear the whole story from the florist and it's like, wow, there's like all this like huge conspiracy it and everything. It all makes sense. Like it's like yeah. a very plausible, like, oh, he got it. Like it, it really makes sense that that's why people are getting killed. Yeah. And she's just spouting off like everything that's going on. He's putting it all together. And then it's just for this Town? award yeah. to be the best village. Yeah. just. They don't want they don't want like the mime the living statue the jugglers graffiti shoplifting the, yeah the hooded kids yeah everyone was down there like in the catacombs or whatever of that church mm -hmm. yeah so it really it just does that twist of like oh wow that's a very plausible like conspiracy logical thing and nope we just we just want a pretty town yeah and just like even all the the people that were murdered like throughout the movie, the reasonings for their murders yeah. was just like, like, oh, her laugh was annoying. You know, he was misspelling everything in the <laughs> yeah. newspaper. Like those things Bad were just- Bad actor. Yeah, just so funny. Like you could have had a really good reason. I mean, there's never a good reason for murder, <laughs> but you could have had a more understandable reason for this stuff. And nope, it just comes down to just the petty little things yeah. in order to make your town be the best. Yeah, be the number one town. Yeah, so I, it was just, it was hilarious. This was great. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, and I love that the rest of the police force, like once they come and they realize everything that they are like uh, instantly on Nicholas and Danny's side. Yeah. Like some of my favorite characters are, are the the Andes. Yeah, the Andes were really funny, and their relationship with each other. Like when he got hit in the face with the <laughs> pasta sauce, and the other Andy was just like, "No, yeah, no, that was great. That was great. There was, I mean, we could go on and on. There was so many great moments. I mean, what was like one of your your favorite moments? <sighs> Let me see. I was completely startled. Like that scared me when Danny walked in. Uh, and Nicholas had just taken like the giant guy. Oh, that uh, Yarp. Yarp with his, with the love plant, Japanese. A Japanese peace lily. Peace, peace lily. <laughs> like that, that scared me. That's, like, that's, that genuinely really scared you. Yeah. Just, just that quick transition to Danny being right there. Yeah, because I was like, oh, he like, he's going to move on. He's going to get out of there. And then I thought he was just about to get murdered again. Um, so that that startled me, and and throughout the whole movie, there wasn't really any like jump scares per se. But that that scare, I don't know if the intention was to really scare you that bad, <laughs> but that I was not prepared, so that really scared me. But uh, I don't know. I feel like I don't know if I could pinpoint a favorite part because the whole thing was just hilarious. Yeah, and it was clever. There were so many clever things. Yeah, it's a thing. I mean, like. Edgar Wright, this whole like uh, trio, Edgar Wright, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, mm -hmm. just the, the sheer cleverness of the movie itself, mm -hmm. it's, it's really amazing. And that's why like, like you do have to watch it multiple times. You yeah. can't pick up everything. Like this is probably like my 15th time watching this movie or something, but there's like the little th things like the sign that says like no more than one school child in at a time. Mm -hmm. And then that comes into play in the shooting scene when yeah. like 20 All school kids, kids in. run in, you know, yeah. like the scene of like, oh, what's he hiding? Uh, what do you think he's hiding underneath that big like green coat or something mm -hmm. while he's been holding a shotgun the, like, entire, the time. entire time? Like when they're in the shop 
and uh, the shop owner is like, any luck catching those kids then or something like that. And then, you know, it comes that comes into play again when it's like any luck catching them killers. Yeah. So just like the plural kids and the plural killers is what like sparks it yeah. in his mind. I mean, you could go on and almost every single scene has something that comes into play for something else. Yeah, everything's important. Yeah. The two bartenders talking about how like, oh, they, you know, they got my age wrong. And you just think like when the first time you see that scene, you're like, oh, they're just chatting with with Nicholas and stuff. But mm -hmm. no, like that was something that was a strong consideration for killing him. Right. Because he just was a bad reporter. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. All of it was so good. I don't think that I could pinpoint any one thing, um, but the entire movie was fantastic, super entertaining, super funny, very well written and acted. It was great. I would love to watch this again and again. And like you said, to try to catch more things. Right. I think it would be enjoyable to, you know, yeah, keep revisiting. You can make a whole video just dedicated to the jokes that are like layered in this movie for yeah. sure. And that's exactly how Shaun of the Dead was. Mm -hmm. They just honestly knocked these movies out of the park. Yeah. I wish they made more movies together. Nick Frost has done some TV and some other movie stuff. Simon Pegg, obviously huge mm -hmm. with Star Trek and like Mission Impossible. And then Edgar Wright, He's, you know, directing super mega stars in massive movies. I mean, Baby Driver is one of our favorite movies. Yeah. But I really wish they would come back together and do something else, do another trilogy or something, because the movies that they create together are just absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I'm kind of the same with you. Like, do I have a specific moment that I love the most? No, not necessarily, because I just love this whole movie from yeah. start to finish. It's all great. The whole thing was great. Yeah, so I'm really glad that you got to experience it and that you enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, and I'm excited to kind of watch, you know, The World's End with you too. So if you would like to watch the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all of those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.